cry at all But why is it always close Ranging from a movie scene To main of people in my dreams The last time if I recall Was a feeling of being alone I don't know if Where I'm going isn't far morning has been so fun I haven't like gone out of my usual routine in so long I feel like going in the pool today because I never do that Zach was just like on his way to go down and I was like uh I'm coming and he was like what <laughs> it was just so fun it was freezing cold it was literally like ice and I just walked straight in I was like I'm not even gonna think about it I walked straight in and it was just nice like just something i would never do i've been like in kind of you know it's the december sadness i don't know what it is i would like cry the other day i was not doing well the other day was like two days ago and i think that i just really released a lot of stuff i want to embrace more of my spontaneous side because i feel like i try to overthink and plan everything almost too much and it stresses me out and i don't want to sabotage myself or my happiness sometimes i feel like i have made up rules in my head that are like stopping me from being great <laughs> sometimes i feel like if i don't wake up early enough i just can't film or just can't do like a specific thing but you can start the day at literally any time and i feel like that's so limiting of me and i just don't want to stop myself before i even give myself a chance to like just live and do things i thrive off of new starts so i'm excited for the new year even though i don't really like believe in like waiting for the new year to start so you can like i don't know rebrand yourself but i can't lie i'm a i'm a whore for rebranding <laughs> part of my rebrand is uploading on youtube literally all the time i didn't even plan on filming today but i was like but i remember that i want you guys to be close to me. I just want you to be part of like my everyday life and I wanna be your friend. So I'm gonna show up more. clothes that are like 0.5% more put together than these um, because I don't know what it is and I can't completely understand it or explain it but I just know that it helps me um, like if I stay in my pajamas or like any random comfy clothes that I wear in the morning because I do sleep naked like half the time if I just stay in those clothes I'll get in a rut and I'll feel sleepy and I feel like I can't do anything and I'm just like actually I'll stay on TikTok all day sounds like a great idea so i have to pick out comfy clothes that are like sort of an outfit that i put my productive intentions into um so i can feel so i can just have more hope for myself you know because i'm the queen of not wanting to do um absolutely anything actually so yeah <laughs> chit chat because i love to talk i just have so much on my mind i feel like at, a, at the end of the year i just i don't know i just get so many thoughts too many thoughts and i'm just gonna braid my hair do you ever just get overwhelmed by your own self sometimes my hair is just too much for me so i have to like put it put it away i guess we can just start off with i guess my overwhelming feeling that i'm outgrowing myself 
and I've never like really had this feeling before. Of course I have, but it's just so obvious right now. It just feels like everything I do, everything I say, it just doesn't feel right. It doesn't feel aligned and I feel like I'm, I'm shedding layers and getting ready to like be the next version of myself even though I'm already doing that. I think I'm just aware of it and it's like freaking me out. <laughs> Loki, <laughs> you ever notice certain habits that you have and things that you do and it's hard to shake them but you know that they're not good for you and like that's the worst. Like I don't want to be self-aware anymore. Somebody please take it away. <laughs> the habits that I have I'm so grateful for because they got me to where I am now, but I, they're done. You're done. You're done. I procrastinate so much and I self-sabotage so much, it feels like, and I know that's a pretty common thing, but I'm starting to have a new perspective on it. Now it's starting to feel like having all of like the energy of procrastinating is like physically putting a halt on my life. I feel like I'm stopping myself from like growing and changing and I'm tired of like waiting for myself to be ready to do things and I think that means that I am ready to do things now. Anyways, I feel like today is such a like weirdly symbolic day of pushing myself into the new version of me and like going in the pool this morning it just put it into perspective that i can do new things that i haven't done before like i can just cut, get out of my routine and it's gonna be really great next topic um i have reverted back to my middle school self and i'm losing my mind <laughs> I'm literally losing my mind because I cannot stop comparing myself. I don't know what happened. I feel like I'm taking a million steps backwards because I've been freaking out about my hair and I just feel reminded of all the times not fitting in in school and feeling ugly and all the times everyone told me that my arms were too hairy or my hair was too poofy or that I looked like a boy, da 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 and it's like all really getting to me and being on social media is not helping at all too much on my mind like I really don't think we were meant to see this many outrageously beautiful people I'm like are you joking? this is too much for me to comprehend I guess I can turn you towards me now since I'm done with my hair <laughs> Now that I've been so focused on comparing myself, some good like reflection has happened. I really, really got myself to realize that I will spend my whole life suffering and feeding myself so many negative energy filled comments for no reason, just for hating things that appear on my body naturally why would i do that just hating things that i'm literally not going to change because i know i'm not going to get any plastic surgery so now i'm basically reminded that i can just use all the energy that i've been using you know to hate myself to normalize me for me someone said once that our souls chose the features that we have because our souls thought that these features were the most beautiful things ever so we decided to embody them and I like that there are times where I feel so beautiful and I look back and I'm like how did I ever think that I was ugly and I just need to remember those times and think about how when I feel ugly I'm just in an altered state of mind that isn't actually correct i think that i just know that i only feel shitty about myself because i'm comparing myself to other people when in reality if i have never seen those people before i would not feel this way about myself there's literally nothing wrong with me there's nothing wrong with any of us it's just all these learned habits of hating ourselves for no reason and i just know i'll be so much better off convincing myself that i'm beautiful all the time instead of convincing myself that i'm so ugly all the time because only one of the two has good benefits <sighs> i'm grateful for that rough patch for this rough patch of feeling so ugly because it's helped me come to the realization that it's all just a silly little capitalistic societal game to try to get me to hate myself so i can spend more money on beauty products and clothes and trying to change my face and my hair um now that i've realized that i'm ready to start loving myself no matter how hard it is no matter how much i feel like i'm lying to myself <laughs> um i know i can do it and i know that in 2022 i'm gonna feel so much better about myself 
that was a lot i'm gonna go clean the apartment a little bit because i feel kind of like scattered and i know that's because things are kind of dusty and out of order around here so yeah let's do some cleaning and then i can just like chill and do whatever i want i'm about to clean all this up but we got a new rug for the living room and i'm obsessed i never thought i would have a burnt orange rug but she's perfect and i feel like i can never be sad with this rug existing in my main area so yeah i hope you guys love it because i love it better to have a short life that is full of what you like doing than a long life spent in a miserable way Okay, so remember earlier when I got some tea? Well, that is something that I never do and I just want to try it. I got the Earl Grey tea from Tazo and it smells good. I only got it because I'm not a really big like warm tea drinker, but like a Starbucks tea drink, I could do that. I can do iced teas. I'm gonna try to make like a raspberry black tea lemonade. I'm feeling a little nervy. I forgot. We put in a maintenance request for them to change the fire alarm thing. No, the smoke detector beeping. And he was like, oh yeah, let me go get my tools. I'll be right back. And then he never came back. So that's really sad. Okay. <laughs> mm, I don't love that. <laughs> I don't love that. I can't lie. <laughs> Smell this. It's not great. Right? You know what my problem is? I have an extreme sugar addiction. Natural sugars just don't taste as good to me and I'm trying to like undo that, but it's very hard. Now time to be a barista. Like half tea and a splash of raspberry lemonade. Hi. <laughs> Hi. Ooh, that looks good. A chopstick will do. This is her so far. Way better, because there's sugar. I like it, see I like the tea flavors mixed with sugar. This is great. I'm easing my way into tea. So, welcome to day one of tea training. So I got some packages in the mail today, some that I ordered and a PR package, and I'm just so excited. So I just wanted to give you a little haul like a FaceTime haul. Hey. So on Black Friday, I ordered from Rie Eyewear and I'm obsessed. I spent like two hours trying to pick which sunglasses that I wanted to get out of the ones that are on sale. And I landed on the most amazing brown sunglasses in the entire world. <laughs> oh my God, I'm obsessed. Are you joking? These are so cool. This is so fun. Oh my gosh. I realized that every cool outfit that I like involves some kind of cool sunglasses and it just clicked for me. So now I will be investing in sunglasses. I feel like they match me so well. And my last package was sent to me from Urban Outfitters. They reached out like a few days ago and sent me a PDF and said I could pick out some stuff. And I'm just so excited and happy about it. 
uh, yeah. I picked out this amazing bag from a New York brand called For the Ages. It's so cool. I love this shape. They're almost like futuristic. I love curves. I don't know what it is. I love round things, whether it's in home decor or accessory pieces. I just think it's so nice. Oh my god. This bag is $215. I will cherish this with my life forever um, and use it every day. And when I'm not using it, she will be living in this dust bag for eternity. Then for the clothing items, I, I had to put this pillow over it because my cat was literally like biting and licking the dress. But this, I feel like I'm definitely gonna wear to New Year's Eve. It's a butterfly cutout mini dress. What? That is so cute! I just think it's so fun and colorful and it has an open back so it's so sexy and I'm just into it. And then I picked out this top from the PDF that they sent and oh! It's so cute! It's also like a backless kind of situation but I feel like this would make my body look so good and just such a cool piece. Imagine this with a mini skirt, some layering, long gloves, like that's cute. But yeah, that was the stuff that I got today and I'm super grateful and so excited about all of it. I just love being around things and having things that inspire me. It's just so fun. Ah. What are we gonna do next? Mm. I think I'm just gonna journal right now. I haven't journaled today and I don't really feel like doing anything tonight. So I'm just gonna journal and call it a day. But look at how much I have left in this journal. This is it. This is the one I've been using all year as my daily like gratitude and manifestation journal and release and all of that. And oh, my God. <laughs> And I just feel so emotionally attached to this. This has been such a big part of my day every day this year. So I already have a new journal that I can start once this finishes up, but I feel sad. It's kind of like bittersweet. Like I'm so proud of myself for doing something consistently this year, but aw, I kind of don't want it to end. I think tonight I'm going to do gratitude. Oh no, this pen is dying. I'm going to do themes from today where I can just write about moments that had an uh, impact on me that felt like big to me uh, and just like made me feel something. And then my last two sections are going to be realities I welcome and manifestations slash affirmations. I like um, doing realities I welcome because it's a nice refresher of like what direction I want to go in life. and. Even like on a really simple level, it just puts it in my subconscious, the kind of days I wanna have and habits I wanna have. And for manifestations, I've noticed that for months now, it's become a habit for me. Every time I get to the manifestation section, the first one that I always write is, good things happen to me naturally. I like that. And I just like that that's the sentence that first comes to mind. I'm gonna end the vlog here. I love you guys so much. Thanks for spending today with me and I'll see you super soon. Bye.